This town seems kind of desolate. This is weird. The last time I came here with Daddy, it wasn't like this at all. Your dad? Now that you mention it, where's your family? N well... Watch out! Uh, sorry. It's fine. Uh, are you... Is it just me or is his head like turned in a very weird direction? Like I just suddenly noticed that. That that is a weird direction. Like I would be freaking grossed out if I was in front of him. Oh my god. Like how do you do that? Oh my god. I can't believe throughout all the times I played this game I've never noticed that. That is freaky. It's all right. You have an interesting creature with you. Emil, what are you doing? We're terribly sorry. Are you all right? Marta, this man, he... This town's changed, too. Huh? Excuse me, are you originally from here? A long time ago. Back then, this city wasn't even called Asgard. Sorry, this is my hometown. It brings back memories of my friends from back then. It seems they got the better of me. Forgive me. That guy, he noticed Tenebrae. Are you sure? I've never seen anyone who could do that. I wonder who he is. He must be some kind of ah blah blah blah. I don't know. Strange guy. I wonder who that guy was. He said some strange things. What a weirdo. I mean, it's been a long time since this town changed its name to Asgard. Right. No human alive today could have been around then. Could he be an elf? Maybe that's how he noticed Tenebrae. Yeah, but even elves and half-elves only live about a thousand years tops. He must have been teasing us. Jerk. He may actually be older than his youthful appearance would indicate. Oh, you mean like you, Tenebrae? Yeah, maybe that's it. We Centurions are ageless. I will not be treated like a doddering old man. Ha! <laughs> you just got dissed, Tenebrae. It is kind of odd, though. It has been a long time since this place was changed to Asgard. Who could that man be? Well, guess we'll find out sometime. Anyway, let's head up here. Nobody's home! That was a late response. I just don't get it. Huh? What do you mean? The wind isn't strong enough. There's no way a wind this weak could damage buildings like this. Hmm. Well, maybe some days the wind is stronger. Ah! Wow, what was that? Marta, look! Sorry. We'd better go find some shelter somewhere. There's a cave-like area not far from here known as the Mural Cavern. If I may suggest, perhaps we should head there to avoid the wind. This sounds good. Let's go. Wait! Safer if we hold hands. Heart. Aw, so cute. 
Good job, Emil. Now just get her in bed. Killing the moment. Your hands are so warm, Emil. Uh, you think so? Ah, uh, two young hearts all aflutter. How sweet. A flutter? Who says stuff like that anymore? I do. You got a problem with that? <laughs> You're funny, Tenebrae. Way to kill the moment, you two. Ha. <laughs> Who says stuff like that anymore? I do. Got a problem with it? <laughs> oh, I love Tenebrae. He has to be my favorite character in this game, actually. <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh, caves already full. Yeah, most of these caves are already full. By selfish bastards. Fine. Well, actually, while I'm here, let's uh, buy some shit. Uh, now, eight, six. There we go. Much better. Cause I am dying. Anyway, let's hide in here. I believe it's linked to Lord Ratatosk's sleep. Yeah, I know that's the root of the problem. I meant, why did the wind get so strong just now? Perhaps it changes in a manner similar to you. I know. I'm just a weak nobody without the help of Nida Ratatosk. That's not true. You're strong, kind, and cool. Really? Really? You're my prince, Emil. I wonder if she really believes all that. I hate to interrupt this fascinating discussion, but the wind seems to have died down a bit. It did? Yes, but now I hear voices. There seems to be some sort of commotion. Let's go and have a look. It'll also give us a chance to ask about Lloyd. Right. Sounds easy enough. Emil obtained the Prince of My Dreams title. That's a little creepy. Why do I feel like she's just building something out of her mind of him? Hmm. Stop stalking me, Marta! Anyway, let's go see the emo commotion that's outside. Oh, I thought there was going to be a cutscene. Now there's a cutscene! God! Damn! It's Alice! Who? A top officer in the Vanguard. We'd better hide. Disappointed you still haven't found Coletti. Pooh, Alice is so tired. Ma'am, if you'd just be a little more patient. <laughs> I just said that I'm tired. Now, now, you should know better than to. Let Mart Mart slip through our fingers and failed so spectacularly in Lewin. Must I do everything myself? Hockey, are you listening to me? I... I apologize. Hurry and find that pesky Coletti. 
I'll be at the mayor's house. Ta-ta! I'll search the city's perimeter. While you do a thorough sweep of the city. The Chosen of Regeneration is a woman with blonde hair. Bring in anyone that fits that description. And do it quickly, or Lady Alice will have all of our heads. Now go! For the liberation of Silverunt! So, that girl is a member of the Vanguard? That's Alice, the captain of the Vanguard's combat unit. She's a complete sadist. Be careful around her. Be careful? But why? What's that supposed to mean? Be careful. Well, we won't be able to go to the mayor's house now. All right. Then let's go look for the Chosen, Colette. Oh, yeah. The Chosen and Lloyd traveled together, right? Mm-hmm. If we can't find Lloyd, we might be able to ask about him. And maybe... Maybe what? Mm. Well, let's just look for the Chosen. They said that the Chosen is a woman with blonde hair. Let's search the city for her. However, please remember to keep your distance from the Vanguard and stay out of their sight at all times. Right. I agree. There's no point in getting caught up with them.